All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. So first off, thank you for everyone who uh, could make it today. That uh, on the coaching calendar, there are a lot of days that that we thoroughly enjoy. The first day of practice, uh, the first game, senior night, playoffs. But all of those days, when we talk about the joy that it brings and the the how we feel about that day, signing day is, it really is the, the, the top day. Uh, to have individuals that come into the program, develop and turn in to the young men they are today, and then to get to sign the letter of commitment to move to the next chapter of their lives. That Bowles has hopefully been a, a super important part of their development, that we have given you the tools to be successful and crush whatever it is that's coming your way, and that to get to be a part of this ceremony where you then make that transition to what's next, to that next step of what you're going to conquer and crush uh, academically and athletically, to be a part of that and celebrate with your friends and family uh, is, is the best day on the athletic calendar. And that today we get the opportunity to bring these three guys in who are doing the early football signing period. And that what I'm going to do quickly is introduce each one, give them opportunity to sign uh, as we uh, progress to Adam. So signing first is DJ Moore. The DJ uh, started quarterback for us for three years. Uh, that has been a huge part of our uh, of our career uh, here. And that, but the most important part is his development as a person, the leadership, the character, the development of who you've been from where when you started to where you are academically on the field, off the field, but those, those things, those gifts, those lessons that you've learned is what's going to make you ultimately successful as you kind of, as you move into to college uh, at, at the next level. And so quickly, DJ, an opportunity to, uh, thanks, thank you, uh, First off, I would like to thank the people that got me here. One of them is over there. There's a lot of them around here. I mean, Terrence Freeman. My granddad, grandma, mom, dad, grandma, little brother. I thank everyone for getting me here. Coach Skinner, working me every day, getting on me, texting me, making sure I'm in classroom work. Coach Tobin, Coach Manny, I mean, it was a lot. When I first started here, it was kind of hard. It was rough for me, and I got used to it. Met a couple guys, all these guys here. Came friends with those guys, and it just, I feel like it all came together for me. and. I went through a lot in my time here. Everyone knows that, and it, it made me who I am today. And I can't, I can't help but to say I'm proud of myself. So, with that being for it, thank you guys for coming. And I'm gonna go turn up at the beach. <laughs> Carter, three-year starter linebacker for us that has been instrumental in making so many plays. And again, not just proud of the, the player you are and the stats you put. When we talk about players leaving our program, that someone else will make tackles, someone else will do the stats, so on so that. But there's never going to be another Trent Carter. There's never going to be another DJ. There's another bit of Garrison in terms of the kind of people that you are. And that being that leadership and bringing that to Louisville is the thing that they are the most excited about getting. So Trent Carter signing with Louisville. Thank y'all for coming. Uh, first, I'd like to thank God. Uh, I wouldn't be where I am without him. And then I would like to thank the people in my life that I care the most about, my family and my friends, uh, and my brother and my dad and my mom. They're the big, biggest supporters of me in my football career. Obviously, I got my love of football from my brother, so I'd like to thank him a lot. And then, uh, and then I'd like to thank all the coaches that's got me to the place I am today, Coach Fordham. Coach Toblin, Coach Manny, uh, thank you for all the help that you helped me with my football career, help me ex or help me perfect my game. And then I'd like to thank Thomas for um, taking me up and always being a great conversation before and after games. And then uh, uh, Deshaun also for helping a lot out with the recruiting process. Obviously, I know all three of us could say that wouldn't would say that we wouldn't be here without Deshaun. And then. Um, I'd like to say something to my team for next year. Just go out. I hope I let we left a legacy that y'all can follow and go out there and win states next year. So thank y'all.
so last but not least is Garrison Butler signing with Cincinnati. And then Garrison, you know, Garrison is a very unique story when it comes to the recruiting uh, phase. Like, just a little too short. All of the chips on his shoulder when everyone said that he wasn't going to be able to do this or he wasn't good enough or tall enough for this and that did not fit into the metrics box, did not have any early offers. And they continued to work and work and work. And slowly but surely, everybody woke up to what Garrison Butler brings to the table. And that he is, uh, we are extremely excited that he is going to the Big 12 to play for the University of Cincinnati, Garrison Butler. Uh, first, I want to thank everybody for coming out to support us three today. I want to be here today without God's blessing, you know, blessing me with all this talent and just guiding me all through this process. I want to give a big shout out to my family, being my main supporters for these past 18 years. A big shout out to all the coaches who've been here for the uh, three year journey I've been going on. I know I wasn't the most serious at all, at all times, you know, it's been, it's been fun joking around, but I know when it's time to get serious, I know it's, I get serious. I want to thank my team for uh, welcoming me in when I first came here my sophomore year, and especially these two guys. It felt like a brotherhood right when I stepped foot on campus during some workouts. And all that being said, go Bearcats. And so in closing, as proud as we are of these young men for signing with these schools, the opportunity to go off to college, we are more proud of the men that they are and that the real gift of bowls is always going to be who you become along the way. And that we cannot wait to see that this is not the end of your story that this was not the end, this was never going to be the end. That a lot of, a lot of kids, they, they work, they work, they work to go to college and that's the end, like that's what they wanted. This was always about more. This was always about walking to college, being ready to go and being ultimately successful in college and then later in life. And that I am blessed and lucky that your families and, and you allow me to be part of that journey. So go Bulldogs, appreciate you guys. <laughs>